In 2003, the Mimi virus was discovered and classified as a nucleocytoplasmic large DNA virus, or NCLDV. And since this time, a number of these large viruses have been discovered. Previously, viruses were identified using screening materials which would isolate substances which were smaller than 500 nanometers. The capsid of Mimi virus is 500 nanometers, or half a micron. But the protein filaments associated with the capsid increase its size to 750 nanometers. For comparison, there are small prokaryotic cells which measure 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 microns in size. And so this virus is larger than some cells. The genome of the Mimi virus was the largest ever identified in a virus, with 1.2 million base pairs in its genome and more than 980 genes. There are bacteria which have smaller genomes than this if they are parasitic. Some parasitic bacteria have a genome of less than half a million base pairs and even fewer than 400 genes. The smallest free-living bacterium has a genome of under 1.9 million base pairs and fewer than 1,400 genes. The Mimi virus's genes include some for translation, which were previously unknown in viruses, and a better control over the regulation of transcription than was previously known. And so the Mimi virus changes how we view viruses and makes it more difficult to draw the distinction between viruses, which are considered to be not alive, and prokaryotes, which are living, given that the genome and size of the Mimi virus are greater than those of simple prokaryotes.